Okay, so what we're gonna do now is actually apply the heat sinks to the main chips on the Raspberry Pi. Now this is again a, a, a B model. And uh, the kit that I was using was the Canon kit, and so this came with two heat sinks, one for the main uh, processor and one for the little network chip there. And obviously the corresponding uh, sizes, you can, you can tell which one's big, which one's small. Now again, uh, the case that this came with, you can see it has a multi-tiered uh, one, two levels right there. And you can see the main uh, opening right there is so the heat sink can stick up and uh, it has another little square on that right side there to ensure the network uh, chip or heat sink can uh, poke through as well. So this is actually pretty simple. Let me, uh, let me take out these, uh, basically you can see there's these little sticky things on the back of these heat sinks. We're just gonna peel those off and then stick them down on top of those chips. So give me one moment and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and take off this, uh, this sticky stuff here. Here's our heat sink. I've removed the blue uh, adhesive tape and now this is sticky, which and basically can place right back down on top of it. Here's our little network chip ones. You can see what it looked like again with that blue um, backing. So peel that off, and we're just going to stick this down uh, with the lines kind of horizontal. Again, it's a perfect square, so it really doesn't matter which way it goes. Again, I'm using this kind of in the horizontal direction. Just going to push it, push down gently on that. Um, and uh, and yeah, you have that installed. So let me go ahead and take the blue tape now off of our little network uh, heat sink. Here we go, blue uh, adhesive uh, protector is off of there and I'm just gonna stick this down, same kind of horizontal direction right on there. And, uh, and then again, just kind of gently press down on top of that. And uh, basically we can kind of lift this up too just so we're not crushing anything and and make sure we, uh, we again, give it just a little bit of, of push on both of those. And um, there you go. So that is how to install the heat sinks on a Raspberry Pi. This is, again, a Model B. And, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and continue with our installation and setup process. Okay, so we're going to be installing the Raspberry Pi into the Canna Kit uh, case here. Again, if you're interested in picking up this specific kit, look in the description box below. But this is a cool uh, clear case that has multiple uh, tiered kind of level to support the Raspberry Pi Model B. Now, again, during this installation process, you're going to want to leave, here's our micro SD chip they're going to be using. You actually want to leave that outside of your Raspberry Pi. Now, again, uh, normally it would be uh, slotted in right over here in the SD card reader. Uh, but we're not going to be, uh, it basically it says to avoid uh, damaging the card. You're supposed to install this without that in. Okay, so we need to open the case now, which has, a, again, multiple tiers. We're going to take off the top, just like this, and set this over to the side. And then basically, this is a little tricky. You just need to come in here with a couple of fingers and push the bottom out, just like that. And then your middle section will, will come out. Now, again, we're just going to be aligning this guy with... Uh, the USB ports on the same direction. So we're going to set this right in the uh, the bottom of the case, just like this. And uh, no need to screw it in or anything. It just kind of fits nicely uh, on the bottom there. So once it's kind of snugly set in, you can set it on the ground. And then we're going to take our, uh, our, again, the middle layer of the case, sit it in nice and comfy just right on top. That'll just punch right down in. It should be a nice, snug fit. And then we'll put our top right back on, just like this. And there you go. That's how you insert the Raspberry Pi, again, Model B, into the case. Okay. As you can see, that fits in there real nice and snug. And we have access now to our micro SD card slot on the bottom there. On this side, we have our USB power adapter, our HDMI port. And uh, this is the audio jack right here. And on this side, we have our Ethernet uh, port and four USB ports. So uh, there you go. It's a fairly, fairly simple process. Um, again, make sure you install your heat sinks before you stick it into uh, this case. And uh, if you need a video instructional on just that portion, uh, you can actually check out the links in the description box below. All right, uh, let's move on now to our software installation process.